Welcome back to New Player Career Build Series. This is episode number seven. And so in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to make a man overboard sensor. And so in real life, what you'll often have is you'll have a kill switch. And this will be attached to the driver. So you might have this lanyard. It will snap to your wrist, your belt. And if you step away from the control console, or if you were to fall off the boat, or uh, become, say, knocked unconscious, it would make it so the boat would automatically stop. This way you do not get a runaway boat. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on that system. All right, so let's start working on this man overboard system. Now, what we're gonna use is a player sensor. So let's grab that. So if we look here, we have the player sensor. Let's read what it says. A sensor that outputs the number of players detected within an area. If the sensor is facing into a sealed room, only player inside that room will be detected. Likewise, players inside sealed rooms will not be detected if the sensor is placed on the outside. The size of the area and types of players to detect can be changed by selecting this component with the select. Let's kind of go into some of this and you know understand some of the things with this. So for example, you can make it spherical or hemispherical. Spherical will read on both sides of the sensor, make a big sphere of detection. Hemispherical will make it detect it just on the side where this little uh, this little bump is. And so we're going to want to do spherical so that it will go out and it will encompass the entire boat. One thing here, if the sensor is facing into a sealed room, only players inside that room will be detected. Likewise, players inside sealed rooms will not be detected. So what this is telling us that if we have sealed rooms, we're going to need a player sensor in each sealed room to see if we're on the boat. And so, for example, this boat's really easy. We are currently, you know, it's, it's open, it's outside, we don't go underneath. So, for example, let's say we put this on top. And let's say that we had a little hatch here and we could go down into the engine room. If we went into the engine room, the player sensor would no longer detect us and shut the boat off. So what we would want to do is we'd want to put a sensor out here and we'd also want to put a sensor inside. So we're just going to stick the sensor on top here and then we're going to click on it. Select tool. I recommend try clicking on all the blocks. That's how you're going to find out information. So we have a hemisphere. Hemisphere, hemi, meaning part, sphere, part of a sphere. So if you look here, if we looked above it, it would make a sphere above the player sensor. All right. So we could do this facing down if we wanted. But what we can do is we can switch it to sphere. What that's going to do is that's going to read all the way around the sensor. Uh, radius in meters. That's 5 meters. What we're just going to do is drag it to 10 meters. So that's a 10 meter sphere around the boat. Now this boat is shorter than 10 meters. So, you know, in total between the center of this. So we could even measure it. Let's measure it. So uh, the back to here is going to be 3 meters. And the front is there is what's that? That is uh, 7.5 meters. So this would probably read out to, let's see, 10 meters is right there. So it would read out to here and a sphere all the way around it. All right. So that is going to be encompassing the entire boat. So that's good. And because this is switched to sphere, it will read above it, which, of course, nothing's going to be up there. But it will also read below it. All right. We're going to detect all. We can do detect players and we can do detect NPCs. Let's actually do detect players, and the reason is this. Let's say we go do a rescue, and we put an NPC in the seat, and we fall overboard. What's going to happen? The boat's going to keep going because there's NPCs on board. If we do detect players, that's us. If we fall overboard and we have a rescued person on the seat, that's going to shut the boat off. All right, so let's start working on the microcontroller for the kill switch system. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to select our the new player series boat microcontroller. I'm going to click that. Now, we have plenty of space to add nodes, and we also have a free spot here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a node, and that's going to be right here. We're going to leave it as on off, and we're going to be input, and it's going to be named player sensor. All right, so what this is going to do is when we are sensed, it is going to allow the PID that runs the engine to run. That's one way we can shut the engine off. Two, we can make it zero the thrust. Now, that's what I want to do. I want to just have it shut, essentially um, zero my thrust if I fall overboard. So the engines will still run, but this will allow me. So, for example, if I jump off to do a rescue, let's say later we add some pumps and the engines are helping pump water. We don't want to shut that off, you know, so we don't always want to shut our engine off. So if you look here, right here, we have the zero. All right, we went over zeroing our engine thrust right here. So if we look down here, we have this Boolean. 
and it's X, uh, not Y, Z, or W. Okay, so what we can do is we can take this player sensor, all right, and if it's detecting a person and we click this, that would shut the engine off. We don't want that. We want the opposite. If we want the opposite of a Boolean, we do a not. So if this does not detect a player, it will zero the thrust of the engine, all right, and that will stop the boat. And so if we fall off of the boat, it is going to stop the boat so that we do not get left behind, all right? So pretty simple here. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll update this. Very simple system here. We're gonna go to logic, and right here you'll notice detected. That's all we want. We're gonna hook it in a player sense. You'll also notice here we have number detected. We really don't care about that. All we care about is, are we the player detected? If we the player are not detected, it will automatically make it so that we cannot throttle up. It will zero the thrust of the boat, stopping the boat. So let's go ahead and spawn it. All right, we will go ahead and get going here. All right, we'll start up. All right, so here we are. We're going to accelerate up. There we go. All right, we're at max speed. All right, we're walking around the boat. We're walking around the boat. Everything is good. Everything is good. Oh, my God, I fall off. And as you can see, the smoke stopped. The boat stopped. All right, so pretty simple system there. And this is a system you have in boats IRL. If you fall overboard, it will shut the it will stop the engines. Now, in real life, it would kill the engines. I don't really want to kill the engine. That's an option. We could easily do that. I'll show you how to do that, too. But as you notice, the boat stopped. This made it much easier for us that in the event that we fall overboard, the boat doesn't keep going. So let's go ahead. We'll uh, call it back to the workbench. All right, so let's go ahead, and all we're going to do is we're going to undo that for a second. So we're going to go in here, and all I'm going to do is disconnect the knot. All right, now this is the way the boat was before we added the system. Very simple. We're going to get back on the boat. We're going to jump on the boat, start it up. All right, boat's throttled up. We're going to jump off. And there goes our boat, off into the sunset. And it's going to go off, and we are screwed. <laughs> And so I've heard a lot of uh, new players having this issue. I fell off my boat. And my boat ran away. What do I do? Again, a lot of these things engineers have already figured out IRL. And the system they have in real life is they have kill switches. So if you fall off the boat, you the lanyard that you attach yourself uh, will pull a little switch, and it will shut the boat off. In our case, we're not going to shut the boat off. We're just zeroing the thrust. But if you wanted, you could also make it shut the engine off. Very simple here. All you have to do is, so for example, this is the PID that controls the engine. So as you can see here, we have six turns on the PID for the engine. So what we could do is we do an AND. So we go AND, and what we would do is we do the six AND, a player is detected. And then we plug that into the PID. So the only time the engine will turn on is if we are in range and six is on. So that's an and situation here. So let's go ahead and spawn that. Well, and we'll run it like this. So we are, we're detected by the player sensor. We can even jump up and check it. So let's jump up top. And if we look at the player sensor here, Detected true, and because it's hemis uh, because this is spherical and not hemispherical, hemispherical would do the sphere above it like this. Uh, spherical is doing all the way around the sensor. So, as you can see, we're detected. Engine's running, and we jump off, and bingo! You notice it kills the engine. So this this system, but here here trying to restart the engine. So we've completely killed the engine. So personally, I don't like to kill the engine. What I prefer is I prefer it so that it zeroes it. And the reason is this. As soon as we get back on board, if you had an auto restart system, it would start the engine up and try to go away. So what I recommend is doing a zero. Zero is good. I love it on the space bar because if you ever get an emergency, you're going to hit something, press space bar, it will zero out your thrust. It works really well. That's my preferred system. So all we're going to do here is plug this knot back into this Boolean. 
we'll delete that one. But as you can see, you can do it either way. So this system is really simple. It's really effective. And this will make sure that if you fall off of your boat, your boat does not disappear. And that is really painful early in a career game because if you fall off your boat and you lose your boat, that is your only link to any sort of finance. You're going to have to use the creative menu to try to get your boat back. Your boat is gone. So I hope you guys found this interesting and helpful. And we'll see you in the next one.